So the entrance to this garden comes off the back of the house. There's our patio. I think the main entrance to this garden is gonna be through here. So I've just laid out a little strap, which kind of gives you an idea. So this section has four L-shaped beds in each corner. In between the L-shaped beds, I'll just have straight eight by four. I'm gonna keep them four feet wide so it's easy to reach across the raised garden beds. The cattle panel trellises for the main walkway down the middle. I'll show you kind of the rough layout that I have here now and see if you can figure it out. So this is where the bunkie is. So I've walked from the pathway from the house out to this new section where we've taken down some trees. The pathway from the house, you come in this way. So there's our lawn and this has a border of ferns that grows along here. There's my little tiny garden that I gardened in this year. And then this was all trees. So these logs here on the outer edges will be eight feet by eight feet. So this is the end and we'll have four feet across here, four feet, four feet, and then four feet back to that corner. So we'll have an L shape in each corner like that. And the 16 foot cattle panel will arch over the walkway. And then this will be an eight foot by four feet by eight by four. The middle will probably do an eight by eight square. I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna start trying to uh, move some logs. I'm here by myself today, so I'm not sure I'll be able to move some of these bigger logs. They are quite heavy, but I'm gonna try to utilize what I have and what I can lift on my own today and just kind of get more of a layout of this section. Very heavy log. I'm gonna need some more help with that one. Four feet. That's four feet. Is that four feet? That's four feet. Okay. You got four feet? Got it. <laughs> start working on the actual garden beds that we've created out of these logs. I'm doing the, the no-till garden, so leaving the natural soil the way it is. Again, it was all trees in here, so the soil has lots of leaf decay in there and pine needles and all sorts of good stuff, so I don't want to mess with the natural soil that's already in there. So I'm leaving it as is. 
I probably will have to fight off some of the wild raspberries that are in this area. General weed control right now with these gardens. I'm going to use newspaper and cardboard and just put that down first. And you can see I have some cardboard ready to go. I'm gonna start by cutting up some cardboard. with the boxes that I have. Uh, we still have this tree stump to come out of this one, so I won't be able to cover that. Pretty good coverage. I've tried one bed with just newspaper to see how it does, and then the rest of them, I just didn't have enough newspaper. So I've just used cardboard boxes that we've had from any shipping parcels that we've gotten. And so far, so good. I'm just gonna finish up with a couple of uh, extra odds and end boxes that I have around and then start adding the dirt. When it all breaks down I'll wait for you right here And I swear that we got nothing to fear It's a miracle that you and I find Today's the day we got the soil delivered. It came in this morning. I've ordered 10 yards of triple mix. So I've decided to start with triple mix in all the raised garden beds. It's uh, an equal blend of, so three parts of equal blend of topsoil, peat, uh, peat moss, and compost. So I shouldn't have to do anything with the amendments to these beds for probably a full season if not longer. The soil will settle into the garden beds as uh, time goes on and the rain and growing in them uh, do settle them so I'll add more as I need to but this should be a good start and we'll start filling the beds.
have one of the eight raised gardens filled with the soil and so I'm not sure 10 yards is going to be enough. We'll see how far we get but it is awesome looking soil. I think I've got um, about six inches of soil for now. It will settle. Oh I'm all sweaty. It's a beautiful day out today. Anyways I think the soil level is going to settle. There's about six inches in there right now so I'll leave it probably until next spring. And if I need to order more of the triple mix to add on top, I'll just add more triple mix into what's already here. But for now, I'm gonna try and get the soil, the 10 yards that I ordered to fill, or at least get a base cover in the rest of these raised beds. So it's about 20 to three right now. And you can see, I guess you can't really tell, but the shade from the trees has already reached over to this side of the garden. And we're in the middle of September, so hopefully in the summer we'll get a good six hours of sun on most of the garden. So that's, that's my biggest concern over here with the garden is the amount of sun that it's gonna get. Um, we'll see how the sun goes and what, it's gonna be a learning process growing in this space. I've never grown anything over here just other than what was in this garden here and I know it needed a bit more sun so hopefully with more of these trees gone we'll get enough sun to grow lots of veggies next year one bed full and eight more to go it's a lot of dirt still to move Got time on our side We're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive well, it's a new day. Still have quite a bit of dirt to shovel. The far one on the other side, I just finished filling that. And I put five loads of, um, of the triple mix from the wheelbarrow in that one. I'll probably add more to them after I see how far this 10 yards of triple mix is going to go so for now I'm just covering what I can just to get soil into them and then if I have extra left over I'll top up where I can I think in the spring after the soil has settled I'll probably get another load of triple mix in and top them up in the spring I have one more L shaped bed here to finish this one right here it's got the big tree stump in the middle of it the one on that end had a big tree stump in the end as well so when we're planting, I'll have to keep that in mind. And then I have the four eight by four, just straight beds to fill. And then there's a little um, five by five square in the middle. But I'm also excited that the neighbors down the street, there's a tree service down there and they have some uh, trees that they're cutting down. But I also noticed this huge wood chipper on the back of one of their trucks and thought, oh, wood chips would be so awesome to have to put on the pathways in here. So it's just a matter of, of asking one of these guys what they do with their wood chips and most of them give them away from free. So he said he's got 16 yards in a truck right now that he can dump later today. So, but that's really exciting. Wood chips for free. So after I'm finishing shoveling this 10 yards of a triple mix, I will be shoveling 16 yards of wood chips. Anyways, I'm not sure what I've gotten myself into, but it's gonna be a long day of working outside in the sun.
We're getting there. One lap to go. When it all breaks down, I'll wait for you right here. And I swear that we got nothing to fear. It's a miracle that you and I find. Tired. You'll be the last one to think about